Today, March 19th, 2024, marks 36 months on the road with me and my Royal Enfield. And I wanted to share it month by month with you. So hang on. Wednesday gave away the rest of my tools. Thursday sold my car. Friday, March 19th, 2021. Rolled out of my garage in Phoenix, Arizona for the last time. I headed straight to Port Isabel, Texas, where I heard SpaceX launch Starship SN11 in the fog. Couldn't see a thing. April, Mary told me about Rocket Ranch, and I found a new home. May 5th, 2021, we finally got to see SN15 fly and stick the landing. SN15, we'll never forget what you did for us. June, where the KOA gave Chris and I a personally guided tour of Hot Springs, Arkansas. July, two beautiful campgrounds both in Kansas, Ridley Lake and Rocky Pond in Belleville. Then rode with Margarita Motorists to Sturgis, South Dakota for the 2021 ADV Fest. Also in July, I joined America's Mailbox. August, Route 66, and of course, standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. Then visiting a dear friend in Pine Top, Arizona, where he modified my side stand, and it's still going strong. Thank you. September to see Abtera, which I have on order. Affiliate link to buy yours below. Plus, I always love checking out the local Royal Enfield dealers. Then a scenic ride up to my brother's and watching him ride my Royal Enfield. Oh, that sounds cool. What do you usually cruise at RPM wise? There he is, there he is. The best part of October was watching Blue Origin take Captain Kirk to outer space. Thank you, Tim. November, back at SpaceX, my friends at Rocket Ranch, and even enjoying those rainy nights. Late November and December was in Raymondville, Texas at the Texas Inn, where they let me convert my Interceptor 650 to belt drive in their parking lot, with the help of the AutoZone next door. Then up to the Royal Enfield dealer, 
the motorcycle shop in San Antonio for a new tire. Jason let me ride the sassy little Royal Enfield Meteor. What fun that was. On the way back, had to stop at Bigfoot, Texas, but the monster wasn't there. January back to SpaceX and with my friends at Rocket Ranch, where even if we didn't have sunshine, we had sunset, and she could make us see stars. February popped back up to Raymondville with the occasional meal at KJ's in Port Mansfield. March 2022 back at Rocket Ranch. The 19th was my one year anniversary. Sunset sent me a special greeting. I found out Johnny Lewis, number 10, was racing his slightly modified Interceptor 650 at the Texas Motor Speedway. So I treated myself to my first ever flat track race. I also got to meet Bree Poland, who was Royal Enfield's lead marketing for the Americas, and she helped me a lot with swag to give away. Then I finished my anniversary month off at Greg's in Center Point, Texas, where he lets me work on my bike, and we rode to Lukenbach, Texas. I met him and Tim in Van Horn, Texas in 2020. Tim took me on a ride for some great barbecue. What a month I had. April helped out around Greg's, got a new seat, and found some good music. May 2022, my favorite KOA, Harrison, Arkansas. Tell them the Barefoot Pilot sent you. I just can't imagine my life being any better than this. There was a bike here when I got here, and uh, he's trying to save up for a Royal Enfield Himalayan, or Himalayan. And uh, Ariel just uh, pulled in in front of my bike. Hot dog vendor on the corner. I'm in heaven. I would certainly die with a smile on my face right now. Thank you, God. July, Weedsport, New York, Royal Enfield Flat Track Race. Royal Enfield of Albany was great. Got two new tires. A few weeks with a friend Ruth on the bay at St. George, Maine. Beautiful. Then the easternmost point of the USA. August treated myself on my birthday to this enchanting little hobbit hut at Alpine Garden Camping Village in Bartlett, New Hampshire. Then down to Plymouth, Massachusetts, to see the ship my relatives, John and Priscilla Alden, came in on, and the rock they stepped off on, and the Alden House. September 2022. Of course I had to go to 70 Enfield Street in Enfield, Connecticut, to the Enfield Dealer. September 8th, 2022, I watched the Royal Enfield Build Train Race women at the Millville, New Jersey Motorsports Park. They were amazing. See the description below for the full video on that.
stopped in Warner Robins, Georgia to visit my favorite nephew and got to watch him ride my Royal Enfield. He's career Air Force and I'm so proud of him. October at the Tallahassee Royal Enfield dealer made friends with Jim. We rode his back roads for B Pizza and the next day seafood on the golf. Cool guy. November was amazing for me at the Kennedy Space Center. I saw my first rocket launch, Falcon Heavy. Well, it was foggy, so I heard and felt it. Then my first night launch, wow. a Falcon 9. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And topped off with the Artemis 1 launch. Links for those in the description. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. We still can't even hear it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa. December 2022 ended up back at my home, Rocket Ranch, once again waiting for SpaceX to launch the first orbital flight test of the Starship. January 2023, hanging out with fellow Rocket Ranchers just waiting for SpaceX. February, more of waiting around at Rocket Ranch. March, you guessed it, more waiting around, but it was getting more exciting. April 2023, what we'd all been waiting for, SpaceX finally launched the Starship. Link below for that video. After all that pressure building for months, it was time to decompress, kick back, and enjoy the quiet beauty of Rocket Ranch as the sun set on that chapter of my life. May, it was time to say goodbye to the friendships I had made and literally pull up stakes. One last ride to Boca Chica Beach, the Rocket Garden, and down the road. After the tears dried from my eyes, it rained that night. In June, was busy riding all 444 miles of the Natchez Trace. Stopped at every information pullout. Some nice camping and good food. Yeah. In Nashville, met up with Silas. There's a link for that video. My favorite KOA in Harrison, Arkansas, playing pool with Virgil. Santa Fe, New Mexico, to see the miraculous staircase. Ending up meeting my daughter and her friend in Roswell, New Mexico, for the Alien Fest. July in Centerpoint, Texas, doing the 36,000 mile service in Greg's garage. Thank you, Greg. Good.
That's it. That's the go. Has some nice drag on it. That's the no go. And it won't go. Got it. August just wandered back to Raymondville for some dental work in September. September, after the dentist, wandered north. Midday stop for Hunt Brothers Pizza. Mm -hmm. San Antonio met up with my buddy Kent. Hickapoo Cavern State Park, where I got a flat tire. Then Van Horn RV Park. A few days after getting to my friend Herb's in Apache Junction, Arizona, my mom passed away in Tucson. Herb didn't have a lot of room. But he has a big heart, and he let me stay with him. Thank you, Herb. It was November now and getting cold. I was on a mission to get to my brother's, so there was no sightseeing. We kept the fire going, watched some football. Got the forks overhauled. It was fun doing a project together. And on December 4th, I was heading to warmer weather. It was hard leaving. Thanks, little brother. Road to Noah's Art with David Moore, who trued up my rear wheel for me. Spent a night with a rocket ranch friend, Rand. Had dinner in Tucson with my amazing sister and her husband. Las Cruces, New Mexico. Love KOA cabins. A few regular stops ending up in Raymondville, Texas at the Texas Inn on the 10th, where the day before it was 87 degrees, and it was 65 when I rolled in. Then I did a Was the Day Before Christmas video. January and February were cool, a little rainy, and quiet. March rocked because SpaceX finally launched the Starship IFT-3. And that's what it's like to be 36 months on the road with me and my Royal Enfield. Thank you for watching.